Hey, are you using a Chrome, Safari, or any other browser? Then you should just stop it. And you could create your own personal browser by using just 65 lines of Python code. So it is gonna be a lot interesting. So let's get started with a cool intro. Hope you like it. So as you use Chrome or Microsoft Edge any browser you can see this type of navigation with back, forward and reload button also and a interesting URL bar. So we are in going to implement all these things in our today's browser making video. So it is very interesting. So first of all let's take a look at the demo. Now let's run it. As we click on the run button, it's going to run the code and our browser is going to open. See, it's open. So you can see here is some buttons back, forward, reload and home. And you can see the URL bar which takes the URL according to its need and then a title also so this url bar is editable so i am going to explain this all buttons now so just watch it and yes i have linked it with google.com so as i clicked on uh, abhicoder which is my website so i got it and I, whenever I click on this website you can also add an animation means that loading animation whenever the page is being uh, switched so it will take some time because it is not having a cache and all the features so it will take a time to load so now it's open you can see my website is open now you can see the URL has also been changed to my uh, website name so now you can see I'll click on reload then what it will do it will just reload this page you can see it will take some time yeah that's the reload one and now let's test the back button and the forward button also Oh yeah, I wanted to say you one thing that the Jarvis code is available on my website now. So you can go and take the code for free and create your own personal assistant. And you need to make sure that you have a Python uh, version installed on your computer. After that, it will work on your computer. Hope you like the demo. So now let's see how to code it. So now we need to import some modules. So first of all we will import system module which is an inbuilt module in python. Then our second important and the last one module which is pyqt5. So we are uh, going to take some of the module from pyqt5. So we are just defining it. So here we are creating a class which is main window and inside the main window we have given main window and after that here we are going to create a constructor means this is important to run any python file. So first of all we have created a constructor then we are giving 
super main window and then self and then again in it so this is the basic of the constructor so now we will add another features so here we are defining a variable which is self dot browser is equal to q web engine view web engine view is a you can say a module or a function which is a small browser present in the pyqt5 module which runs as a browser which helps us to run like a browser after that we are giving here self dot browser and then we are just giving set url then q url which is http uh, google.com which will help to navigate directly to the google after that we have given self dot set main widget means uh, self dot browser means whatever the um, q web engine view the function uh, will be the main focus of this project then self dot show maximized means it will show in a maximized you can also give show minimized so whenever it runs it will open in a minimized window then here we are giving app a variable which is q application okay then we are giving inside that system dot argb which is important then here we will give q application dot set application name means whatever the name or the title you want to give you can give here so i am giving here chrome browser by avinav after that you can also add here q application dot set app icon and a image uh, means you can say a logo after that window is equal to main window means whatever the window is it will be the main window then app dot exec so now our browser basics is completed see so now there is a lot more stuff to add now we will add buttons and url bar also see it's just minimizing and maximizing also and it's doing the all functionalities but something is missing can you guess what yeah the buttons so we will go going to code it now and yes the javis code is available on my website so you can go and take it for free here i am opening the brave browser or any browser you want you can see here the front button uh, reload button home button url bar is also there so like this we cannot make it that uh, interesting and look good so we are just going to add some basic buttons with the text Here we are defining a variable which is navbar, which will contain the value of Q toolbar. Means it is a component available in Qt widget. After that, uh, we are giving self dot add toolbar to the navbar. Means the toolbar will be added in the navbar. But you not need to run it now. If you run it now, then it will throw some error like this. um no no not actually that like it will throw a small error after that we are defining here a home button variable which is create uh, carrying the value of q action and here i have given the text you can also uh, type there back and then i have given self and then i am giving here that whenever the back button is triggered then it will just simply connect to self dot browser dot back the function in the uh, web component of the qt5 so now let's run it we will be able to see a um, back button see it's there so i have changed it to back now you can see it is uh, in a back now we are also gonna code forward button after that reload button home button and at the last the interesting url bar so 
be till the end of the video if you want to create such interesting browser. So you can copy the back button code and repeat it three more times so that we can create a interesting buttons. And we just need to do some changes like in the text we need to keep forward then browser dot forward and here we will change it name to forward button and here also forward button and in the reload button also the same thing after that in the home button we are going to define a function for that. So in the last line in the home button function you can see in the second line there is um, self.browser.home this home function is not available in Qt5 widget we are going to define it now. So here we have defined the home function then we have given there self.browser.setURL QURL HTTPS Google.com So it will um, in the home button if we will click on the home button it will simply navigate to the um, Google.com means this screen. So let's test it now. After that it's time for the URL bar.
So now for the URL bar, we have defined a variable here, self dot URL dot bar, which will carry the value of Q line edit means the text input, which is a very long input, which can be edited. After that, um, self dot URL bar dot return press dot connect self dot URL. So URL here is a function which we are going to define now. Then here we are giving a function that self dot browser dot url change dot connect self dot update means whenever we will update the browser or click any other site then it will just update the url so now we are gonna define the url function here Yeah, we are also refining the update URL function also so that it could update the URL whenever the user gives anything input. So now you can see our whole browser is completed and the URL bar is also working perfectly. So if I will add here like meet.google.com so it will open simply Google Meet. So now I, went, I am testing that uh, can it open my website or not. So it's telling this site cannot be reached because the URL is not correct then whenever i will hit enter you can see i entered my website so hope you like this video if you like this video then please click on the like button and if you are new to my channel then hit on the red subscribe button if you get anything interesting from this video then make sure to comment in the comment section below take care goodbye see you in the next video